this is the Lazy Days showroom. No, but it's nice. We're having trouble making up our mind. We got all these models to look at. What is it? Three of the 26 foot? This is one I'm gonna give it to once over one more time. Sure made nice. Here's our salesman. This is Jim. Uh oh, no, I'm, no, I'm in trouble. You're in trouble. Well, we're still looking. Uh, the next thing is, uh, am I going to be able to drive one of these a little bit to see what it's like? You bet. You bet. As a matter of fact, we require that prior to the purchase. Well, here we are. Still looking. That's the one we want, I guess. They're saying we have to wait till the end of August for delivery. He just told me it was mandatory that you will drive before you order. What we do different there than all our competition is everything blue. Well, you're going to change your mind or what? No. <laughs> we bought one that looks like that only as the Japanese would say. It's a brew. Whoops. Went the wrong way with my top around. That's this one right here. We drove one and I couldn't believe the power it had. Had a demonstration drive. He wobbled it back and forth on the road and handled it like a sports car almost. Went on his test drive with his new motor home. Get on it! Action! Uh, here's Jack's new motor, or rather trailer. Boy, it's a beauty. What size is that, Jack? It's 35. 35. Here we are having a Yeah. Yes, it's just a little windy out here today. As you'll notice, the hair blowing away. We have burrows here that are very tame, but we don't have anything for any little burrows unless you like bananas, apples, grapes. If you have something to eat, they chase you. They they an oh, here comes one. He's decided that we probably have something to eat. We need to give Gwen an apple. Hey, uh, do you think you're close enough, huh? Are you close enough? We're going to blur the camera. I don't think we get that. <laughs> we have here an out of focus situation. Uh, <laughs> these. Is that a great to be. Well, that's what I was wondering. Who is eating that? Who's that? 
Well fed. Look at that one over there in the out nobody's thought. So we have these. Threw it out there and these guys are decided oh, yeah. to. He's going to come right in. Oh, you're a real gentleman, aren't you? Well, okay, if you want to be that way. Oh, look at this one. Oh, it's a, it's a little one. Oh, yeah. <laughs> We're deciding whether we ought to feed these guys. They're being so polite. They don't say anything. <laughs> I, I, this is funny because they don't have this polite. <laughs> They'll make a big picture. Okay, bye. They got their ears back. You just better. Uh, really? Yes. <laughs> say the name of this was again. This is Spring Mountain Ranch. Spring Mountain Ranch. And, um,. Was home to Howard Hughes at one point and Vera Krupp, or Krupp, however that's pronounced, mm -hmm. and also for um, Chet Locke of the uh, Lum and Abner, was it? Uh, oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. And uh, this is where they made their home. There's lots of. There's a picture of a car going on for a turbo. Yeah. He was. This is my little home. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> it's your time to be on the own show. <laughs> Come in and give me a lecture. This is, is going to be a, a video on our homes here. We're making a video. Oh, yeah. for, right. <laughs> so they can take this back to cover mm -hmm. where, right. wherever they may be and show this video and what it's like to be in Las Vegas. And of course, they will refer them to us. <laughs> to durable homes, durable homes at this point. Now, we'll tell you if anybody, if we change or anything like that, but come now to durable homes at this point. Uh huh. <laughs> Jim is getting a haircut. Trim. There she goes. We think this is an F80. Well, like I said, it won't take long in here. There's uh, there's an airplane out there that I recognize because I operated them. It's out. Yeah. It's a constellation, I don't know which one, but I'll bet you I can figure it out. We don't know what it is. That's a radial engine, and I've never worked on that one. Uh, but there's some in there that I'll bet you I've worked on. Things. 
not real interesting to me, but I suppose Dad and Val would like it. I don't know how well the light is in here. It's kind of dark. It opened the big bay door. Uh, it's dying real hard. Let's see what this says. Custom <laughs> electric propeller model. Dad says this is a Kraut airplane. Jeep. It's an army Jeep like in Nash. Yeah. This has got to be about the ugliest plane I have ever seen. Like a big guppy. Make a little bit more noise, guys. Navy, yay. I can't hear what they're saying, but they're over there talking some sort of nonsense. Dad's explaining this, uh, is that a jet or something over there? Yo, Uncle Jim, I can't see you. There's airplanes in here. Big hangar and everything. Let's see, there's some out there. Val, can you believe this? I almost passed this up. I just saw it as I was walking out the door. Blue Angels. Number five. This is probably one of the ones that we saw out there at the air show. If not, you can correct me and yell at me when I get home. Inside the two angels are Okay, Dad wants to get my picture next to his airplane. Say hi, Dad. Yeah, this thing is pretty good, but it's showing that we've got a uh, 1,500 feet per minute rate of climb going right now, which I seriously doubt. <laughs> Since it is anchored and, uh, to the floor. We're at uh, 650 feet, which could be correct. And uh, 
There's a speedometer. Oh, yeah, okay, it's a zero. Oh, it's okay, we're not moving. I don't know if you've ever seen in here before. I don't even know what this is, but it looks kind of neat. Like, maybe Val will be working on this someday. Some of the innards of the airplane here. I'll show you where this is located. Right in there is where we were looking at. Just a second, Dad. Too dark to really see in there. Big plane. State University on it. What is that? Dad's gonna yell at me because I know my pictures are too big, but it's windy in here. Here, have a tank. Big ugly tank. the inside of that big plane behind plastic doors so I can't really get good good pictures of the instrument panel here <sighs> do what I can behind for crew and anybody else down this way if I don't jiggle around too much, I'll cut off right We have food storage and heating. We've got radar or something like that here. More controls. Radar power source. deal right here. I don't know if you can see this or not. More instruments. all beat up and stuff. Going over here. Big uh, missile deal or something. Next to a van. That is a rocket. Bunny rabbit. Hey bunny bunny. Bunny, bunny, bunny. Okay, 
See you later. I've never seen anything quite like this. Half tank. Half deep. Did you guys? No, I was up inside that big old plane over there. Oh yeah? Which one? The big huge one with four engines. Hmm. Well, we might go over there. I I wanted to get No, that's a big radar dome underneath. You know what that is? Yeah, this is, uh, I was never on this one, but uh, this was a radar picket type uh, airplane. The old Connie, I spent a lot of time on this one. inside it, Jim. was one that I didn't like. Crews didn't like it either. Get runaway props with it a lot. Oh yeah. This must have been quite an airplane this day. Would face this panel right here and uh, even had his own throttles back here. And the pilot would say, set take off power. And it was those uh, black levers that are back to the left there. Yeah. And uh, would shove up the power and watch all these damn gauges come to life. And uh, navigator set back here. Oh yeah, one of those places is Navigator. Yeah, we always had a Navigator when we went any place on one of these. Uh, you know, over the ocean. So we have the last time I looked at a Connie. Quite a... Uh-huh. Well, it's a biplane. A lot of biplanes. And take a picture of the tail, because the tail's the same. Mm -hmm. I mean, even the paint is the same. It's almost like deja vu. Hmm. Well, uh, this is this airplane here, right here. And that's this airplane right here. Funny looking old thing. Almost looked like a Japanese of Mitsubishi or something. A Kate. But they got this one inside. which is now a used car lot. A lot of nice 
looking cars there. No salesman has come out and tried to sell me a car yet, though. See Shannon's hair? Yeah. Why didn't you do yours then? Okay, good. <laughs> because I'm not 22 years old. I don't see why Shannon does hers that way. <laughs> I'm old enough to be her mother. <laughs> You're old enough to know better. <laughs> no, I'm old enough to be her mother. <laughs> you see, she's a little bit. So it's not quite so little orphan either. Huh? But you know how I had it real, real short. I decided to let it grow out some. This is the longest I've had it in. You know, on the side. I'm not going to get a permit. I got it cut just before Christmas, and I went to a different gal, and she really scalped me. It was so short that I let it. I've had it cut for when I got the perm, which was in March sometime, I think. And I've had it trimmed once. John, but you just lost one? Mm-hmm. Well, I swear. She didn't have groceries for... Mom just went to the grocery store it's before. It's brunch time, I guess. It must be, yeah. Uh, 11.30. They're always so tough. Oh, that looks good. <laughs> they are. You may want anything? A lot of activity here in this kitchen. Yeah, you're making me hungry. What do you want? We have ham and everything. You want to cook that? I don't know where it's all going in. Well, you better try that plum, or she's going to eat it. Order cents for a tomato. Shannon is going for that health food there. Roast beef to sandwich. No, it's a chicken so fajita. No, beef fajita sandwich. You're better for you than chips. And, you know, golly. You're good for you, that's why. I don't remember what they were, and it's the first I bought them and ate them. Well, they just had them in the store of blue yeah. yeah. It's so interesting. We decided that that's... Dollar fifty nine for a little dish of blueberries. Dollar twenty nine for some straw. I think these were ninety nine. The cast for this uh, episode is kind of rebellious this morning. We had them for a dollar. For the trip, it was worth it to get us. Is there any ice left in the cooler? I dumped it all out, Chris. I mean, if we left it in there, it would have just got bruised up and... We bought a half a dozen and ate all at once. Well, that's correct. Uh, 1130. <laughs> Totally on the demonstration of a need a long distance car here. I'm going to send myself from LA to the Big Apple. Okay. Jenny is interested in speakers. Here goes. And you in the Midwest, folks prefer to call this new media. Jenny? Michael is making a big sale here, I think. And here we have Michael's hot shop. Really, for his great. Got a lot of goodies in here. Like he's got a lot of new stuff there in him too. Jenny was just asking me what this was here. This is a Texas jackalope. We have a lot of them. Some of them even get bigger here in Texas, especially around New Braunfels. He's just a two point. We're shopping as usual, this time for silver. We have got a big party going here. Super quick. Drinking Miller's beer. Thank you. 
but you know how many years ago. You still carry that damn scarf. We got a noisy bunch here. You remember that? 12 years now. I remember that. 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 I
kinds of activity going on here. Looks like the way I see. Here comes the pickup. A lot of our neighbors And they're gonna they're gonna show us how we do this. I'm ready. There they go. Woo how about that? Everybody's okay. We just made movie stars out of them. Okay, we got one more to push off here. Go! Here we go. Look good in it. I'll make good pictures. Here's our two professional stunt men here. They're risking everything to get these pictures. And my wife has found somebody she knows. Oh, he's a handsome dude, too. He's even got a drinking beer. I, I can't believe that. Okay, here comes our men. They're going to go for it. A second. Oops, pull up your suit. Uh, for mini boot runners. Oh, we have a posing here. I'm not sure who they are. We'll run through our files and see if we can uh, recognize anybody. Probably if we have a few drinks before we can recognize them. Well, I'm, I'm too old to know all you young guys. I was, uh, this definitely not people that were from that class. I'm forever taking this damn camera, you know, and, uh, you know, not taking pictures. These damn things are just, uh... Okay, here we are, getting ready to go to the Riva. We're going up the Riva. I need more, I need more action here. More action. The action is happening now. We're going to all load into one of these big white cars and go. Now that's what's going to happen. And there we are. The, uh, we are real estating now. And uh, here comes the, uh, the course line. And that's a good dog. This is getting it out here and getting it spread. Come here. That's a good dog. What? What? We need a job for it. Everybody's going to get out of the road business. <laughs> proper backing yeah, or something? Back. I think I'd have given him a ticket for something <laughs> else more than that. He's picked for a mask. Did you see that? Didn't he? Because she was pretty bad oh, off, so I think we had some dinner one night and we were over there. So. And give them to the president. See, Bill Beautiful can't wait to get the TV place. because it's going to go in that corner. Yeah. yeah. He's got a purpose. Yeah. 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 Well, you know, you can't share something like that in the morning. She's my own little gear. That much to stay away from here? That's mainly keep the dogs in. Oh, I see. But it won't hurt you. It just shocks you. Low amperage. No amps. You're just going to stick your foot in the water, huh? 
I guess, yeah. Never been up From there. what I hear, uh, there isn't that much water there. I haven't been up in a while. Uh, uh, been... I heard somebody say something about 16 inches, or six inches. We're in the middle of a drought right now. Yeah. Oh, you don't have any audio on that, do you? We have here a wild turkey. See, that's where we always... A little bit bashful. That's where I always park the Jeep right there. He's moving out. He's not very friendly. But that is a wild turkey. River at flood stage, and here's these people with all their household furniture that they managed to have down by the river, watching their homes float by. Those those people over there were, uh, you know, they're there all the time. They weren't worried about the flood. Oh my God! We got some more people coming down the rapids here. Whoa! And here we have people coming down the river <laughs> on their inner tube. Yeah. Greening down the river. I guess they'll stop before they get to the Gulf of Mexico. No, they're running right over. Yeah? Well, I guess I'll give them a right away then. Oh, real quick, Dennis. Would you put that back up again, please, sir? Who are you here now? They're telling us that this really was a flood here one time because there's a right this uh, eucalyptus tree here, cypress tree, and there's part of somebody's house right up there. Probably the front porch. Right. Doesn't say that. Oh, there it is. I see it. Okay, now it's recording. Hey, Bill. Smile. Bill, you're, you've given the finger to everybody on film. <laughs> Golly, Bill. Oh, man. There's the owner of the camera sucking on a wine cooler. His 20th one today. Cypress. Cypress. Boy, I ain't Russ running. All right, Marcy. Stick more behind you. Hello. There's a pan shot. Wait a minute. It filled the lens. I have to back up some. When it floods your water's over the tree. Two bathing ditties over there. Nick. There's Grandma. You narrating what? She is the one responsible for all this. <laughs> Hello, Minnie. Except for the last two over there, huh? Tell your mother to look this way. You gotta be kidding! I can't get a word of edge your eyes in there. <laughs> hey, Minnie. Mom, uh, mother. What? Tennis wants you. Oh, wow. I wanted a picture of the one responsible for all this. <laughs> Single-handedly, she's responsible for this whole group. You did it. Uh, I was you you. This is not similar to the Lewis and Clark expedition. Very much, anyway. Because uh, we don't have any wild Indians around. Just wild, normal people. And I'm here to photograph this event as they go through the rapids, careening along at about one and a half mile per hour. They've had to stop in Fjord, the rocks there, but they're pledging along, scraping their bottoms happily along. And here they come again.
graving the rapids. Okay, boy. Look out. Uh-oh. Hit bottom. Uh-oh. In trouble. Call up the Coast Guard. Okay, we're okay now. They survived the rapids. <laughs> you have to have a license to do this. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Any store in the brown facility. <laughs> no, they're just blood suckers. In that river. Isn't that right, Penny? What you have is mostly what? blood suckers in this river. What? Blood suckers in this river. Leeches? Yeah. Eh, a couple. I don't think they leeches in here. Oh, okay. Yeah, you know, where you are right there. Just for kicks. While I photograph you going under. Hey, that's pretty neat. <laughs> four feet, yeah. Huh? That's where the big fishes are. You are. Doing, are you doing good narration with this? Oh, you better believe it. You should hear all the nasty things I'm saying. It's, it's about... Don't ever Shit. get blood. Why you get blood like that? <laughs> Shit. No, that one time I went to blood and came up here. I was paddling everything. Don't you dare take a picture of my butt like this. <laughs> okay, won't do it. No, I'm not kidding. Okay, here they come again. They're over there, coming over their final optic course. <laughs> Optical. I knew you'd understand. <laughs> I'm not sure they're going to survive this one. Whoa, there's an upset. There's uh, he's doing that just like it should, I guess. <laughs> yeah, that's pretty good. Whoop. Oh my god, look at that. Whoa, hey, I may try to sell this to Hollywood. We may have something here. They come into home port. Whoa, she overshot. <laughs> that was good, really graceful there. Oh, I know that hurts. Yeah, I know. I know. I know. I know. I know. I I 
Uh, somebody just spotted the camera. Getting the noise for sure, all this yeah. chorus singing and everything. Yeah, that's what I thought I saw one. I saw one a while ago over there. Oh, yeah. over that oh, yeah. Well, we're having a little bride sale here today. Hey, here it comes. Uh, and here comes our youngest customer. Whoops. Whoops. He, he decided that he doesn't. There he comes. Come here. Yeah, he's, he's our youngest customer. <laughs> Yeah, he's found something he likes over here now. He's going to weigh himself. Okay. And they bought it. Really? It's gone? Yeah, it's gone. Oh, Dave, the dining room's gone. Really? Yeah. yeah. 21. 21 pounds. Boy, that big boy. Yeah, it's a big boy. Yeah. There, we need your picture when you're looking up at us. Yeah. Yeah, that's the way. How about that? Well, who's that? What are you going to do, Nick? What are you going to do? He walked over there and he's wondering how to... probably wants to go in and get a drink of water or something. Huh? Nick? Come here.
a little bit. Check those rocks. You probably start climbing on here pretty soon. Yeah. Yeah, that's where the door is. Can't reach the handle yet, though, probably. No, but at home, he knocks over his toy and it stands up on top of it. Yeah. yeah, the door isn't open. That's He wants to go in and check it out in there. He wants more. <laughs> oh, good. Be careful, baby. Okay. okay. Slurp that. It's too much. Yeah. <laughs> Come here, Nick. Put your arms up, okay? Sounds like the cartoons yeah. when the car's yeah. trying to start. <laughs> That's enough. Nicholas. Come on, Nick. Nicholas. Yeah. Want some more? Yum, yum. Well, that way, you're going to have to just pick that up on the ground. Yeah. Give the juice to uh, Donald and he'll uh, go for it. You can move all you want, but I'll still go back there the same place. Come this way. Nicholas. 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 Nicholas, chipmunk. Come on. Come on, Nicholas. <laughs> You're not giving it says, it. My legs are getting tired. Oh. Ooh, ouch. <laughs> ah. Oh, I can just feel it. Oh, boy. What a mess. He's I guess since he knows he's on camera anymore. He wants more orange. <laughs> what, you got to make that face to walk, too? Oh, he's really hamming it up now. No, you can't no, I just talk. No, no. These are mine. They're mine. Um, how fast do you think, you think uh, he'd drink that? As you can see, we are in the process of moving, and this is going to be the recording of it. Oh, and uh, would you lock the door and get the case? Sure, no problem. This is our. This is our first load, and we will be 
back shortly. And here we are at a new house. And we're going to start getting the big stuff out of there shortly. Eileen! 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 Daddy? 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 Ooh. Ooh. I see. I see. Hey, Eileen! Eileen! Yeah, like we used to do, and you can get that boom. Yeah, and then, 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 and
Fort Hood for Fort Hood. Yeah, my brother. We did the club. They said, yeah, yeah. Well, well, I hope it sounded like it. No fireworks. It's really yeah. explosive. Yeah. yeah. The trouble is that. And you sit there in the whole stand and go, boom. Oh, look at that. And David, there's a bone face. That's got to be the finale. Oh, imagine a bone. It used to be there. Is this working oh, into the finale it's now? Yeah. Yeah. Good five, anyway. Too much smoke in the way. Yeah. They ran out of music. Yeah. Well, Radio station did it again. Don't worry, Penny. They were playing it for three days later. Well, that's they're always three days behind. Yeah, I know. That's it. That's why Jason got down. Is it 9.30 yet? Oh, it's past that. It's about 20 minutes long. Yeah? Yeah. Well, I only got five minutes to go then, huh? Well, one time it only lasted. Whee! Oh, that's pretty well. Look, it ran out of here. That's still pretty. Hey, there goes a big boom. That's another one. Look at the fire. Oh, big weeping like willow. Yeah. <laughs> Beautiful. I'd say we've got the choice spot here to watch it. Fourth of July, 1989. New Braunfels, Texas. Just about over. USA. She said it, I didn't. <laughs> Well, here we are getting ready to leave our beautiful new home. That's it right there. This is a little view of our living room. back.
zoom lens is going crazy. The focusing one. <laughs> Somebody walks in front and goes, whoa! He didn't. That's the last time, yeah. Our young lady here that's a little bit pregnant. There's Uncle Bill. And there's Mike. There's Mom. Take your picture, do you? Okay, thank you. I will. No doubt about it. It's getting to be a noisy place. Warren was real tickled with himself. He sold about a hundred and a quarter worth of reload and stuff. Okay, Mom. You're doing fine.
<laughs> who I, I looking at the pictures when we first got married, I just really wondered when she saw it. <laughs> house with us a red roof and a, sta a steel roof he says it's kind of an adobe the walls are about 
a foot and a half thick and there's some of his airplanes and a bunch of wings look at that and here is some dogs of his these guys are real characters <laughs> Not one, but two satellite dishes. He gets all kinds of stuff. So we're going to go for riding this thing. John's going to show me his, uh, all of his airplanes. Okay, here's a various assortment of airplanes. Fuselages, all of them victims of a wreck sometime in the past. That's the way the, the wheels work up dual controls for the flight controls. And inside here we got the Bearings. What'd you say these were, John? Uh, tail stingers. Oh, I see. And then over here you got spinners, yeah. Prop spinners. <laughs> These dogs are having a big time. <laughs> Would you explain what that is, John? That's old Fort Davis. And they just uh, call Reveille, or what do they call that? That's assembly right now. This assembly. Record, you got to play in just a minute. <laughs> You got uh, the similar wings uh, for what kind of an airplane is this? Uh, the right hand is Cessna and the left hand side is Piper. Oh. And there's two pair of good ones down here in this one. I see. What is this one here, John? What? Beach Sundowner. Sundowner. Oh, that one was. Uh, that one was ruined by a forklift when they went out to pick it up. That was, John says, was damaged by a forklift. Run out of gas, landed in the field, and couldn't couldn't get out. So they went with a forklift to load it in a truck and ruined it doing that. How could they be so brutal? The wings weren't damaged. It seems to me just the. They had taken the wings off. But uh, uh, why would that uh, superficial damage there on the uh, fuselage? Would that? Uh, that wasn't superficial. That that broke that main bulkhead back there. Uh oh. Yeah. Okay. And that got him. Just all over. Windshields. I'll be. These are flaps here on the left, and he's got all kinds of seats, aircraft seats, all kinds of stuff. Out of new metal. Uh huh. And then became disinterested in the project. Oh. So I had to go get them. Uh, this is a Piper Cherokee Arrow. Retractable gear. Or was. Is that mainly what it needs then? Is to have the wings reskinned? Yeah. And a little bit of fuselage. Right? Yeah, fuselage. 
That's in review here. The airplanes, airplanes. We're on a golf cart touring the airplane lot. Yeah, these are smazzy looking. These are jets, right? No. Shows you how much I know about it. They're ten passenger airplanes. God. Huh. Still there. I'll be. Here's a couple of eggs over here, right? Yeah. That seen their better days. Uh -huh. And there's a kind of an old timer, that one there. Yeah, that's a twin Beechcraft Twin Bonanza. <coughs> Look at all the goodies in here. Mm -hmm. Oscilloscope. Lathe. Mag parts that leads in that other bedroom there. Got a lot of goodies here. Big radio engines on those babies. Uh, that's going on five. John's uh, electric lawnmower. And how many volts? 36. 36 with uh, using 6 volt, six, 9 batteries, six volt huh? batteries. In series, right? That's the way that works? Yeah. Mm -hmm. There's a compressor. And there's your van. Boy, you got a pretty van there. Woo! Hadn't even noticed it before. Okay, here we are with our new motorhome back home. There's hardly a place to park. We were lucky. The night before, the garage that we were to park this thing in burned down. Okay, so this is the back view of our house across there. And this is the view of the, what's left of our warehouse where the motorhome was going to be stored. Started by a lightning strike and burned to the ground. Everything was destroyed. The night before we got home at the motorhome.
Got a few too many vehicles here. But we'll find a place to put them, I guess. That warehouse is right up over there. Center of the picture. Because, uh, here? no, she's volunteering at the hospital today. Ah. Uh, she won't believe those colors. Because uh, it's a dead ringer. There are people out there that way. Yeah, well, I can't believe that. I thought, well, it's going to be close enough to probably look yucky. But uh, it sure doesn't. pushing it. You're pushing with all your might. So now you have leg muscles like you wouldn't believe in no time at all. Well there is a benefit to having that car then. <laughs> Just, you know. Mm. Hey, hello. It's mighty good. We're eating there. Salami sandwich and he has ham. Which is 30% less fat. So he ate twice as much. Here we are parked on Cameron Pass in Colorado. With the Camerons. With the Camerons from Longmont. We originated this pass. Builders. This Builders. is Labor Day weekend, pass. September 3rd, 1989. But what you needed to say was the Knights of Topeka, Kansas, that this is their camera, you know. Oh, the Knights of Topeka, Kansas. Are visiting them, <laughs> not like they're visiting us. <laughs> And Dad doesn't care. He's just this eating. Is the same I keep telling these women. Belly up above the refrigerator. That's the mountain I'm gonna climb. It's not as big as Mount Everest, but it'll do. And here's the Cameron and Wright family near Cameron Pass on this date, enjoying a nice, plentiful lunch. I thought they were going to about kill me. Hey, he's never, uh, well, I just come over, well, this fast is right over this hill. There's an access road that goes all the way up. And there's a rock up there. In fact, you can probably see him if you get a pair of binoculars. It's right there at the peak. And I sat down and take a breather. You clear up there? Yeah. It's, there's just an access road that is... There's snow there, and they're eating it for liquid. And... The big one saw me, looked up, and then the, there was a other one with a set of racks on it, smaller, and then two others I really couldn't tell. But when they all looked up, you know, I was picking up the camera to take a picture at the time. But I was downwind from them, you know, and, or, you know, when I could, you know, the wind was blowing towards me. But they heard me step on those rocks up there, and they darted at me, so I just kind of jogged back a little bit and got behind the rocks because they come straight at me and then I didn't know they but they turned. Yeah. Is it too dark? I'm, I need to get my camera, don't I? You get it. It's in the back seat. They're only about... Just laying on the, on my bed. Oh, 30,000 feet and we're at 11. It's like I'm really hungry. You know I'm not. You know.
We have some foreigners right here. people here today, it's a Monday. Guess who? Here we are having lunch. There's nice sized fish in here. Now, unless they're smarter than the average fish, it seems to me like you ought to be able to catch one once in a while. And from here, I mean, those fish are a foot long, aren't I they? I see how you could skip down there, but how did? I don't know. I begin to think maybe I will come over here and try yeah, this. And there's the tunnel on top of Rollins Pass. Why no gar enough, huh? why no garbage cans? Shortage of something. And, you know, take so out let me out, I'd rather walk. Hmm? Enough is enough. This is where the trestles are. I don't feel like walking up over there. A the new road goes here over Rollins Pass. I've well, got some beautiful mountains here. Pathfinder come up here, no problem. When it, well, actually, you weren't supposed to. The rocks were had fallen. Yeah. Well, they the cleaned it out one time, and then they went down again. Well, through the over there. We figured we better get a shot of these beautiful aspen. We're about five miles out of of uh, well, Winter Park. Okay, now I'll give you the hard part. We've got some pretty spots here. 